Hey guys, it is very very interesting today because I was planning to do a couple of things for the vlog um, in terms of bringing you value to the viewers. Um, again, more insights, more information on uh, this particular industry that we're in um, and also how we do it in Relab. But we didn't end up doing it just because the day has gotten very, very busy. Um, we were expecting it. But there are some things that were unexpected um, and we just had to do the work. So unfortunately, I didn't get to do a lot of vlog stuff. Uh, same with the team at Relab, we didn't get to do a lot of vlog stuff. We tried to do a little bit of recordings here and there. Um, we had a really nice lunch, by the way. Um, today was a really good day in Melbourne. Mm, it was around the 20 something degrees mark um, which means it is actually spring so in the last one week or so it hasn't been actually spring although we're already in September um, actually when you're looking at when you're watching this vlog it's probably October already because we're two weeks behind in our um, production however um, yeah as I'm recording this it is September but it hasn't really feel it hasn't really been um, it hasn't really been um, feeling like spring so far. So um, today actually feels like spring, which is good. Uh, not so good for my hay fever, but that's all right. We can manage that. Um, look, um, today was pretty busy, mostly actually pretty much all day, but more so a lot more intense in the um towards the end of the day so i've just left the office um it's almost seven o'clock in the evening um now i have a young family like probably most of you or some of you who are watching this uh, but it's very it is very important that i've been trying to learn to become a better husband and a better father as well which was um, a little bit difficult for me to adjust in terms of um, how I manage my time between work and family life um, initially just because I'm just so used to uh, working like long hours but um, I'm finding the, bal the balance now thanks to my wife Irene who constantly reminds me um, on the importance of I guess finding that harmony in life um, for me, for me personally, that's something that is a bit difficult, and I guess uh, I need a little bit, a little bit more time to adjust. Because, um, I mean, at the same time, I really enjoy the things that I do at work, so um, I can be working really, really long hours without me noticing it. Um, so it is very important to have someone like my wife to remind me on you know other things in life anyway um, that's just me but um, learning through it okay um, in regards to um, productivity productivity in real lab um, we've been swamped with a number of um, projects that are tight in terms of its deadline but it has always been that way for us um, generally just because that's how we try and service our customers so there's always the sense of urgency that comes in with with every job no matter how small it is um, it has become almost a culture in the company um, that all jobs that comes in from clients no matter how small it is it has that sense of importance that it needs to be done as soon as possible um, so managing that um, I, I mean like by today we've worked out ways on how we can manage that and still be able to deliver obviously there are sometimes delays um, delays from our point of view could be not so much of a delay sometimes for other people but for us it is a delay because we, we I guess we set um, we set deadlines for ourselves that are pretty tight and and um, that motivates us to to deliver work 
as soon as possible with a sense of urgency. That way our customers feel very, very important. Um, and that happens to everyone. So that's one thing that I've been inspiring to do since the very beginning of Relab. And that's how I've tried my best to encourage the team as well. Um, so um, that's why I think speed is probably the number one value that people see or our customers see when they're working with Relab uh, just because you get that importance to the work that we do um, um, and having said that though um, I guess the quality is there as well it's not like we're diminishing the quality just because we're trying to deliver things in a very very fast manner but um, we maintain the quality if not the quality is um, is even better than um, some of the other services that may take even longer to produce so we're trying to balance that and find the sweet spot to have that both had to have both speed uh, and work quality as well so um, constantly constantly trying to learn and maintain what we've done so far that are good try to learn from our mistakes and um, continue improving ourselves um, and that happens you know uh, pretty much with everyone not just myself but throughout the team one of the things that I've established recently of or I've, um, I've committed myself to do as owner of the business is to have more one-on-one -on -one sessions with um, the team at Relab with every individual um, now this can happen you know in a period of every couple of months or every quarter uh, we'll catch up I'll catch up I'll, sp I'll spare time to catch up um, with every individual on a one-on-one -on -one basis um, just to see how everyone's going um, if there are any type of concerns or any type of challenges that needs to be brought up um, then I could address that my job as the owner of the business is really trying to make sure that everyone is happy uh, customers are very very important to Relab um, like I said previously on some of the previous vlogs that we're trying to be this really customer obsessed customer focused whatever the cliche is uh, but really um, in a real way trying to prioritize our customers more than more than anything but that's us collectively as a group in real lab but for me personally the people in real lab is probably the most important um, in the business because they define our capabilities they define our service um, people who are part of real lab are really the reason why customers get that good service uh, and really the reason why they get that good quality of work as well that I, that I was saying earlier um, that is why it's very important for me to you know maintain the same vision uh, that I'm able to support every individual in the business to be able to do what they want to do um, able to help them grow career-wise um, and you know at the same time I guess just be there to listen to them so um, and at, at the same time I'm very very open with my own challenges to everyone uh, and in Relab so they know um, any type of challenges whether it's business um, obviously there are private things in the family side of things but business wise um, Relab things Relab uh, I'm very very open so everyone knows the things that I'm going through pretty much um, so you know having said all of this I think mm, my point is that the, the teamwork um, the quality of the team team members no matter how junior or senior or how many years of experience they've got uh, it is very important as long as everyone gels together I guess the great the great thing being part of real lab team for me personally is that everyone is so supportive um, 
no one's I don't think anyone is stuck up to themselves Do you know what I mean it's um it's a great culture of being supportive to each other um, we are all I would consider we are all very very young um, age-wise um, doesn't mean that we don't have experience it does mean that we're not capable in doing what what we can do uh, because having been in Relab for almost five years now it is um I guess it is uh, it's an evident that we're able to deliver uh, work that are up to standards that are up to quality that can um, that can be there and be a benchmark to some of the other works in the industry uh, or even uh, to be compared to our peers in the industry so that's uh, to me uh, that is a great value so I think um, um, I know I've said this before but I've always liked to thank my team and Relab for being there to support um, the works that we do which means they're supporting me and I'm supporting them um, it's a mutual um, it's a great relationship that uh, that happens both ways mutually um, so you know um, in this episode I guess that's all I can say for now uh, I'm just heading back home uh, just gonna go and take sorry just gonna buy a takeaway because Irene my wife didn't manage to cook because she's very busy as well today uh, so we're just gonna uh, buy something and um, enjoy it together at home okay uh, it's Friday as I'm recording this so hopefully um, everyone has been um, everyone has been having a good week um, keep it real stay positive um, if you're having any type of challenges or whatsoever in your personal lives or at work uh, keep it up um, and fight for it because you are accountable to everything that you do um, to everything that you say so everything is on you guys and girls um, I always say this to myself as well that my actions are the one that determines what happens tomorrow so no matter what ideas what thoughts I have whether it's positive negative inspiring or not uh, ultimately it comes down to my own actions so you know hopefully everyone stays motivated and like I said keep it real okay See you